everyone and welcome back to our channel where we talk about everything crypto and blockchain technology. In today's episode, we're exploring Ondo, a very high project that's been making waves in the DeFi space. So without further ado, let's get to it. But first things first, before we go deeper into Ondo, let's briefly talk about the merge between traditional finance or TradFi and decentralized finance or DeFi, all powered by blockchain technology. Now, as it stands today, both TradFi and DeFi have their setbacks. TradFi, despite its innovation over the past decade, is actually bombarded by accessibility issues and a scattered infrastructure. On the other hand, DeFi, despite its promise of transparency and efficiency, has largely remained a very closed ecosystem, with stablecoins like Tether being the primary bridge to the real world economy. And let's not even go down the tether rabbit hole. Now this brings us to Ondo, which is set out to create institutional grade products that connects the best of both worlds. Imagine tokenizing real world assets worth over 867 trillion and bringing them onto the blockchain. That's the kind of profound transformation Ondo is heading for. Speaking of real world assets or RWAs, Ondo's tokenized treasury is a great example of this trend as they're expanding their offering onto the Solana blockchain, marking a significant step forward in bringing the traditional finance assets and the innovative potential of DeFi together. They've also recently extended their US treasury backed stablecoins to the Solana ecosystem. And this not only widens the reach of these assets, but it also adds them to the flourishing DeFi ecosystem to projects such as Orca and Radium all within the Solana ecosystem, improving liquidity and utility within the DeFi space. And that is a great thing. Now, this development is quite significant. You see tokenized treasuries, which basically have led this year's RWA boom, which is the real world asset boom, right? Are transforming the way traditional assets like bonds and credit are being used on blockchain platforms. You see, by tokenizing these assets, Ondo and other real world projects, by the way, are making the way for more efficient operations and reduced cost in financial transactions, which is an exciting proposal for both crypto firms and traditional banking giants, such as JP Morgan, Citigroup, and so on. And I'm sure you've seen the overwhelming positive market response to these development. The combined market cap of tokenized treasury offerings went from 110 million to over 760 million earlier this year, with Ondo coming out as the leader in this category. So as the market restarts its upward curve, the strategic expansion of Ondo's tokenized treasuries is expected to unlock new avenues for using these assets from serving as a stable form of cash, stablecoin, uh, in decentralized exchanges to acting as collateral for lending. And here you can think in terms of mortgages, car loans, business loans, etc. What's for sure is a major leap in tokenization of real world assets and definitely a new era of financial innovation where traditional finance and decentralized finance converge to create a more inclusive financial ecosystem. And so far, Ondo has rolled out some pretty innovative products from OUSG, a tokenized wrapper of BlackRock's US Treasury ETF, to USDY, which is a yield bearing alternative to traditional stable coins like USDT, USDC, and so on. So they're not just tokenizing assets, they're redefining what it means to invest and manage money in a digital age, which is why we're here. Take USDY, for example. It's not just another stablecoin. Its reserves are verified daily, and it offers most of its yield back to its holders. And it's over collateralized to protect against market fluctuation. And if you're new to crypto, buckle up. But on those innovation doesn't stop at stablecoins. They're actually also building protocols like Flux Finance, which is a lending platform that supports tokenized securities, and the Ondo Bridge, which allows for cross-chain transfers of the Ondo token. Are you a bridge or? <laughs> These tools are not just about creating new financial products. 
They're about building an ecosystem where the products can really blossom. Now, as you know, we have tons of innovative crypto projects. As a matter of fact, on CoinGecko, there are over 12,000 listed projects and counting. So what makes Ondo stand out? We think it's their holistic, all-inclusive approach. By developing both the tokenized asset and the infrastructure to support them, Ondo is ensuring that these innovations are not just technically sound, but they're also integrated perfectly in the broader DeFi ecosystem, which a lot of projects miss. And they're not doing it alone. The Ondo's ecosystem is a growing network of partners from Solana to Polygon to emerging DAOs or decentralized autonomous organizations and other financial institutions, all united in a mission to democratize access to institutional grade finance. But what does the future hold? Well, Ondo is already eyeing the next frontiers from expanding their cash equivalent tokens or stable coins to tokenizing a broader range of public securities. Now that means unlocking new possibilities for investors and everyday users. Definitely a project on our radar. And as a disclaimer, I do hold Ondo token. And that's it for today, folks. As always, thank you for watching and do like, share, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more delightful delights.